In this video, we will review how to format worksheets and workbooks. To insert and delete columns and rows, select the column or row, click the Home tab, and then click Insert or Delete in the Sales group, and then click on the desired option. This also works for columns. You can also right click a column and then click on insert or you can right click on the column and click delete. To change worksheet tab color, select the tab, click on the home tab and then click the format button in the sales group. Move down to tab color and select the desired color. You can also accomplish this by right clicking on the tab and clicking tab color on the shortcut menu. To adjust row height and column width, select the row or column, click the home tab and then click on format in the sales group. Click the desired option enter the row height or column width and click OK. For best results when working with themes, make sure you mark the sales in your workbook up with sales styles. To change a workbook theme, click on the Page Layout tab and then click on Themes in the Themes group. Click on an appropriate theme, change the colors if desired, and change the fonts if desired. To modify page setup, click on the Page Layout tab. Review the options in the Page Setup group. For example, you have custom margins such as Normal, Wide, and Narrow. You can also choose the orientation, so just make sure you review each one of these buttons. If you need additional Page Setup options, click on the Dialog Box Launcher button on the corner of the Page Setup group. Make sure you review the Page, Margins, Header and Footer, and Sheet tabs. To insert headers and footers, click on the Insert tab, and then click on Header and Footer in the text group. Here you can see the different portions of the header. If you click Go to Footer, it moves you to the footer for the worksheet. And notice that you have all of these different tools on the Design tab so that you can customize the header or footer. In this example, for the left portion of the footer, we will insert the current date. In the middle, we will put in the file name. And on the right side, we will put in page numbers. When you finish, click on Normal View or click off of the header and footer first of all and then click on Normal View to return to Normal View of the sheet. To insert a watermark, click on the Insert tab and then click on Header and Footer in the text group. Choose the location for the watermark such as the center portion of the header, click on Picture, find the picture, click on the picture, and then click Insert. If you click off of it, you can see what it looks like. This is not really a watermark because it's not washed out. 
So if you click back in the header, click on Format Picture, click the Picture tab, and then change the color to Wash Out. You can also change the size if desired. And then click OK. Click out of the header and return to normal view. To set data validation, select the cells, click on the data tab, and then click data validation in the data tools group. You have to set your validation criteria. For this example, we will allow whole numbers between 1 and 5. Make sure you put in an input message. And you also want to enter an error alert in case they enter something outside of the range between 1 and 5. And then click OK. When the user clicks on the cell, they will see your input message. If you enter a correct number, it will accept it. If you do not, they will see the stop error. Always test data validation extensively before you release it to the user. And this concludes the review for formatting worksheets and workbooks.